Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about political permutation and combination. A build up to a duo 2020. I have Samuel Ahigato and of course Barista Thango the Lord by here with me in the studio and they're sharing their thoughts and opinion about what is happening in the political terrain of a dual state. Now, for what Thangot said, he said this is a big loss to the APC, but you, you said it's not a big loss. Let's get straight down to what happened in Benue. When Governor Autumn has issues with the APC, he defected to the PDP, and Governor Autumn became the governor of Benue State under the platform of the PDP. Do you see it happening in our state? I'm not sure that's going to happen with him in mm -hmm. those states. Those states are a very, very different state. They're very, very different kind of people. They are not like Benue. We should not be comparing ourselves like to Benue. Mm -hmm. In Benue, we know the system of those people. We know how they act. I always use it that the Muslims are more united mm -hmm. than the Christian in terms of doing things because of, probably because of the way this. They, 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 they serve their own religion together. They don't have different branches like Pentecostal, Catholic, and otherwise. Mm -hmm. So I think when they speak, they speak on a voice. In the northern part, it's happened most mm -hmm. times. It's a very different issue. Why I do people? I believe even though many likes Robert Seki because they believe he's so, 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 so person. But I believe by the time the campaign starts, by the time the campaign starts, Many people will know Basaki more better. They will understand the reason why they should not even vote for him and decide to vote for somebody else. It is about convincing. It is about able to carry your grassroots people along. If you see, it's not, it's, it's, it's not an ordinary party in the district. It is a struggles party. It, is an, it has come to stay. So the governor leaving us, on one side, because of his position, is a lost. Mm -hmm. But as a party member living to another party, it is not a loss. Because every party member is replaceable. It is a freedom association. It, it, he is not the only intelligent person we have in APC that can flag our, 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 our candidacy. Mm -hmm. so we have a lot of cool-headed brains that are aspiring as well. We have vibrant youth mm -hmm. that are aspiring as well. If you look at the, the three of them, they are all no, no pushover in politics. Some of them have attained some certain positions. So they will definitely be able to face him when the time comes mm. during the campaign. So for me, I believe it's, a, it's just a stepping stone. It is a stepping stone. And I still believe in the capacity of Adam Sosomole campaign strategies and strength. And with that of our people from the grassroots, will be able to defeat PDP. Oh, right. Because something that they are not also looking very deep, which is surprises me when I watch the screen just now of the PDP. When the governor said he has submitted his certificate of this one and this one and this one, I wonder why in the first place you did not submit it to the APC screening committee if they were available. Mm. Okay. Because this is the reasons that made you to be disqualified. Right. And it's paraventure that these things are being manipulated right now yeah. and given to them. The stone he runs away from in APC who still meet him in the front. Okay, now he talked about okay. campaign strategy of the suspended national chairman, that that is what they are going to ban Cohen. And of course, the category of persons they have in the APC currently that will be able to uh, really form a formidable opponent to uh, the ruling party, which is the PDP uh, being headed by the governor, uh, uh, comrade or honorable Godwin of Basaki. He said it's going to be like what happened in Benue State. What are your thoughts on the PDP? opinion about his assertion on this particular issue take a look at political strategy first of all most mm. i want to celebrate uh, the governor mm. godwin obaseki for his smart and brilliant uh, uh, strategies with respect to the political environment he has found himself mm. i also appreciate adam sali Oshomale for bringing in a man as smart as this to become our governor. Mm. Because when he said four years ago that uh, Obaseki was smart, I didn't know he was this smart. 
<laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> flying from that, I think uh, Shomale did a new state where, hmm. even if he is at, if he is today see something different, I don't know how he came to that conclusion. But I hmm. still think, well, basically, he's smart. Flying from that, politically, I think the strategies are on, like father, like son. They are from almost the same environment. They are battling who should take the soul of a new state. September 19th is not so far away, but if I were to make my predictions, looking at what happened at, uh, in Benue State, I think uh, Opaseki stands a better chance. That's my prediction. However, I'm not, a, I'm not God, I'm not a prophet, but I think that uh, that prediction can only come to pass when the thinking group and the thinking tank of Opaseki is also very strong and formidable. They still have a lot of job to do, and they should quickly keep the, the uh, set the ball rolling and continue to do their job. Very soon, we know who is who as far as the state is concerned. Uh, for Adam Sali Oshomole, I will still appreciate him and appeal to him if he still has any way of uh, reconciling with his son, because it is not a beautiful thing to see a father and a son fighting in the public. The fight is not over. They are still hiding a lot of things among themselves. Very soon, they may not be able to hide it anymore. So if they can still keep those secrets and reconcile themselves neatly, somehow some of politics no uh, permanent friend, no permanent enemy. If Ujumale can reconcile with Izeyam, I can't see why he cannot reconcile with Obaseki. So four years ago, I knew what he said about Izeyam, and he has reconciled with him now. So if he could do that with his AM, it would still be a very smart thing for him to also do that with uh, Obaseki. Uh, going for that, I think uh, Obaseki stands a better chance. And uh, if the APC thinks they can still take the soul of Edo State, then that means they must have to think beyond the ordinary that we are seeing now. Because as it were, the man has succeeded in dividing the APC, and uh, he has a United House in the PDP. <laughs> So these are advantages on his side already. And he has the soul of the state. He's a governor. You know, people forget that uh, the, 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 the charisma you share, the political strategy you use, they are a function of your power at the point in time. Shomala was a superman because he was coming from national, the, the Labour Congress, which he used as a very strong tool, and then he became a governor. Today is no longer a governor. He doesn't really command that power. Even though sometimes we, you know, no child believes that his father is weak. That's why when you want to beat a child, say, I'll tell my daddy for you. I'll tell my daddy for you. Because he sees his father as a superman. But the father himself, no, am I really that superman? So it's a question of time for us to all determine. All right, Samuel? Well, like what he said. He said PDP is a united house. I don't believe that. Because the incoming but is APC United? The incoming of the incoming of mm. Obaseki has even started throwing tantrums. Him I know by constitution he is the leader, but declaring himself as leader after one day of the campaign, not allowing the party to declare him a leader, I think it has caused a lot of rancors among the PDP leaderships. But according to him, that is the constitution of the PDP. But no, you don't declare it. That's arrogancy. Have also shown itself again. But he was opposed by the PDP. They said yes to it. Listen to me. Listen to me. He was clapped for what you do. They said the things you do. He was here. Yeah. He was fighting APC. All true. It was not a show he was fighting. He was fighting the party all the time with court cases and all these anti-party gimmicks. So all these issues, right now, we have a uh, mass argument there. He's not happy to be posed, somebody to be posed upon him. Are you speaking for a mass argument right now? Oh, they, are, they, are, they are giving their own statement. They gave their statement mm -hmm. over the issue. They are, they, so they are not going to step down for him. They all want to go to the primaries and to, see, to check the strength. So then, what is united there at the moment? There's mm -hmm. no unity there. Except in a situation that's unanimously, consensusly, and give a basket that issue. Then you say they are united. But as long as they are not stepping down for issue, that they are going to primary, then what is unity? Yeah. Mm -hmm. For me, the battle is for PDP to fight against APC. Because APC is already on ground. PDP has been out of government for over 12 years. Don't forget. 
they have not been relevant in the do politics. So they now have to start a, a, a fresh relevancy. But they have the number one man. They have the number one man. Does the number one man have followers? But does it count that they have the number one man? During the presidential election, did the number one man want his unit or his world? Does he have followers? Is it by that to be the number one man? People made him the number one man. Followers made you the number one man. They said he's the copy, he's the copy. Let's wait for some, a, a week or two. You will see many people that are going to withdraw from him. That are going to stay back in APC to make him understand that he does not even have people. Well, that is your own opinion because people have different opinions on that. My opinion because I'm a party member mm. and I, I interact with my party members, I interact with my party leaders, I, I interact with, my, um, with our followers, and I know many that even in this government that are even in positions are already saying, My Lord, we are not going with him to PDP. Because there are people that naturally in Benin discard PDP because of the way they have treated us in the past, because of their governance in the past. So don't think those people are blind to what, what PDP have done to us. Because now the uh, Basa kick on. You keep saying PDP has done to us, PDP and what they have done to us. But they don't have a government according to PDP. PDP, 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 PDP. We know what it happens. We know what, why the reason we took them. If PDP, PDP is that bad, how come the number one is not a PDP? He chooses to be. He chooses to be. That is his own decision. Mm. It's a freedom of association. Listen, mm. I can choose today to be in Labour Party. I can choose tomorrow to be in PDP. I can choose to be in any party. It is my freedom of association. Mm. And nobody shall take it from him. It is fully right. That's why mm. I cannot blame him for changing a party because defection in Nigeria is normal. If he has believed in the ideology, if he has believed in the, in the, man, in the manifest of APC, he would have also had the pride to stay behind. But according to the same way, it was not to him. Listen to me. Listen to him. According to him. According to him. What is fairness? Anyway. What is fairness? In the, in the, he was disqualified. Disqualification is by what you present. Is that fairness? It's fairness. To be disqualified. It's, yeah, because you occupy. the documentation will look in accordance. All right, fine. Uh, Samuel. Says, how much he knew? Why didn't he go and correct these things? He brought now an NY certificate with Obaseki now out. Mm. Why didn't you go and correct it and bring it to the APC screening committee too? Mm. And you said it's unfair. Let us be sincere with ourselves. Okay, Sam. Those people that did the screening, they did not do the screening because of Obaseki or Shomole. They did the screening based on instructions and guidelines given to them to screen now properly. All right. And uh, why he might have even scraped through the, the PDP screening now, he must have. And I said it last time when I came. When you asked me what should I, mm -hmm. I say, I said I would advise the Ecobank government to go and solve the discrepancies in his document mm -hmm. so that he should not have the same issue with the Welleba Party. He was going, then he had, I didn't know he was going to pay the bill. All right. But if he has done that, it is well for him. All right. It's good. All right. Thank you. Let us take his chance as, as, as in PDP. Thank you, Samuel. We will take our chance as APC. Thank you, Samuel. And no, September 19, we will know him. All right. Thank you so, so much, Samuel. That is going to be your last line on this discussion. You've made your point. Now, Abba, I think we're going to have your last line. I spoke at length. He talked about the advantages, talked about the, the, the document, talked about the defection to PDP, talked about also anti party politics and all that. Summarize all this so I can call it up on this show. First and foremost, uh, my take on this is that uh, Shomala and Obaseki should find a way to reconcile themselves for the development of the state and the country. They're supposed to say that this is too late already. Uh, well, uh, that, that is my opinion. Right right now, there's, 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 there's nothing that is too late. There's nothing that is too late. Uh, uh, things may be difficult. It's not impossible. Okay. So if they can reconcile, it will be for the advantage of Edo State. Because as it is today, Edo State is losing out from the crisis. But if they cannot reconcile, then they should go to war and let's determine who is the leader of the state politics. So and if that's where we decided to go, because at every point in time we must decide who is the leader. In heaven there was a time there was war between God and the devil, mm -hmm. and they determined who was the leader. So uh, for me, I think that those people should uh, not be worried about the war. It's a normal war. It comes when uh, conflicts arise. They should go to the pools and they vote for those they believe 
uh, going to bring, bring uh, democracy's benefits to them at their doorstep. And it's a matter of opinion, as it were. Thank you, thank you so, so much, gentlemen. Well, you've heard them from the first panel to this panel. Whatever you heard them say is their own opinion. It has nothing to do with ITV. Our oh, we'll seek right now is peace in Edo State, the evidence of democracy to trickle down to everyone in the state. According to Pondwitz, the war rages on tomorrow is the primary. Let's see what the outcome will be like. They will get to know where we stand in this state. Who and who will flag, uh, will, 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 our president will become the flag bearer of each political party. Is it going to be a uh, governor in Edo State for the PDP or is it going to be any other aspirant from the APC? We have so many of them, uh, uh, lots and lots of them, three of them precisely. Let's just see what is going to happen. But what we are seeking for right now is peace. Gentlemen, I appreciate your wonderful analysis from all of us here in the studio. We're saying have a wonderful Sunday. Bye for now.